down, Matt! <laughs> so, I wanted to explain. This is in addition to the uh, dual fan setup we put in here already. But I wanted to explain the reason I have my fans on the front side of the rad is because I wanted to create more room uh, on the engine side, um, just so I don't have to worry about that ever. Um, now, one thing we just tested is um, uh, these fans are set up to pull air because um, they're normally meant to be on this side. So we just hooked the battery up um, and we went black to negative, blue to positive, which it's normally supposed to be, and it was pushing air this way. And of course, I want the air to go through the engine. So all, I'm, all I have to do is reverse the polarity and it's gonna push the air through. So we tested it to make sure that that was a-okay. So now we're going to trusty Mishimoto fan controller here. Get this installed, which is just a relay and some wiring. And um, I know there's two different ways to test the um, uh, coolant temperatures. Um, they You can get the kit with either like a probe that goes into the radiator which you gotta drill and then stick a probe in there and wire that in. Or you can use what I opted for here, which is just the rad hose adapter. So 1 8 MPT just goes back to your uh, controller here and that tells it what temperature it is. Um, so we're gonna, well, obviously I'm not gonna be installing that anytime soon. But you can you can imagine that it's sitting in this here rad hose, which actually this was cut for a similar reason. Um, Cause I think I had a water temp gauge or something, but I'll be using this now. Oh, there it is right there. See that there? Water temp gauge. But uh, anyway, let's get a move on. Okay, so. I wanted to explain the wiring harness here. Um, they give you a loose red wire, which is your positive from the fan um, to your battery. Now, in this case, uh, I did a battery relocation, so I'm gonna be running uh, my power to the, the bus bar that I threw in here. And also, the fan relay, I'm actually just gonna mount right here by the bus bar, because all the wiring is right here. You got you'll have your uh, negative from the fan, which uh, is gonna come back to your wiring harness for the relay. There's a uh, black for uh, chassis ground, which is right there. The green I know is optional. It's uh, for cars with um, air conditioning, which I removed mine, so I won't be using that. And then um, there's, uh, I'm, I'm fairly certain that this guy here is for um, the probe, if you're gonna use the probe in the uh, rad. And then um, yellow, what do they call for yellow? Oh, yellow is our, our switched ignition. So I'm gonna run this through the firewall and uh, hook it up. Um, I got another bus bar in there for switches and stuff. So I'll hook that up to that. So, first off, let's get this guy screwed down. Fantastic. Uh, okay, Matt. Let's see your uh, videotaping skills, bud. <laughs> oh, man. The viewers will be able to appreciate this. Nice. Well done.
chicken supplement here. So we're gonna go something like so away. Repeat the steps for <laughs> positive wire. Just remember, I'm reversing polarity, which is why the negative from the fan is going to positive to the battery, just so that makes sense. So I've ran the 12 volt um, ignition wire, the ye uh, yeah, yellow wire from the harness, through the firewall, underneath the dash, and I brought it up uh, and robbed some ignition source from the uh, gauges that I've got in here. So that was this white wire I extended um, and wired in with the 12 volt. So that's done. Yeah! We got her. Got her. I think she's good. All wired up. Um, got. We just got the 12 volt wire done inside the car. 
everything, the harness is all done to ground. I realized that this two wire harness also works for the, um, the NPT here. Um, that's obviously just gonna plug in there and she'll sit in there. And uh, what's nice about this unit is you can actually adjust um, what temperature you want the fan control to come on at. I think it doesn't say on there, but I can't quite remember what degree they came on at. Let's see what they say. Temperature adjustment. 150 degrees Fahrenheit to 240 degrees Fahrenheit. So you got a bit of adjustability there. That's nice. That's a nice setup there. But uh, I guess we'll have to see if she really works properly once there's a uh, motor running. I know you can test them, you know. But uh, I'm just gonna, I think we're good now. I think we're good. Yeah. No!